YouTube, it's me again, it's Jelana, and I'm coming to you with a uh, a bag tour, I guess. Um, I've seen a lot of other YouTubers who do some sort of bag tours, and I thought it was time for me to do a bag tour. <clears throat> so if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and click the thumbs up button, and I'll try to keep them coming. I do like to, um, to share when I make purchases. It's not very often, but right now I've been making a few um, purchases. <clears throat> to, to replenish, replenish my wardrobe. One of the things that I love to have in my wardrobe is a black tote. I tend to wear a black tote daily, Monday through Friday. You know, I load it up with all my things for work, my lunch and everything. Of course, it's in a separate container, but that ten, tends to go into my black tote. I wear it into the evening during the weeks if I have things that I have do, I'm doing in, at night. I'm wearing it um, on the weekends. If I'm out shopping, I can throw extra items into my bag. And on Sundays, you know, I <clears throat> usually will have my my Bible and my journal and things like that when I'm going to church and a, probably a sweater or a scarf. So I really do tend to lean on a black tote. It's my workhorse. I've tried other colors. I've tried other styles. But what I tend to grab for and pull for most often is a black tote bag. And so it was time for a new one because I wear them so, so much. It becomes my everyday, all day, all week sort of bag. It does wear out. There's wear and tear on it. My last black tote I purchased was from Avon. It started to come apart a little bit in the seams. It was probably about a year, maybe more than a year old. Previous to that, I had a Dooney and Burke um, black tote that I purchased when I was in New York. And that one... Um, what I found that I didn't like about that particular bag was that it was not all black. It was black and tan. So I realized that I really do prefer a completely all the way black tote bag. For some reason that tan trimming started to bother me. Previous to that I had a black coach tote. It started to, the handle started to do some cracky sort of things. And actually I pulled that out recently to wear because I liked the size of it and I liked that it had a large front pocket, but I just kept looking at that thing and just going, it is really time to retire her for good and find another tote. So I've been out shopping, I've been looking. Um, it's an everyday sort of bag, but I don't wanna spend a whole lot of money on it. I do try to stay on budget, but I've seen so many beautiful bags on YouTube. I've seen luxury high-end brands that are just <clears throat> amazing, um, beautiful. I, I saw the um, Louis Vuitton Neverfull, it was a big tote. Um, and I was like, oh, wow, that's nice. And maybe I could get with the whole, you know, idea of a Louis Vuitton bag, even though it's not completely black. And, you know, maybe I could get some some of the other, look at some of the other patterns. And I really almost talked myself into it. But then I realized, no, that was not the best option for me. My pockets are not that deep. Um, and even I could stretch myself and purchase something like that. It just... It just wouldn't make sense for me, and I think it's fabulous, and they're wonderful, but for me right now, I said, I'm just going to keep looking. So my persistence did pay off. I went to Nordstrom and looked at some of their totes, but I'm very particular and specific about the size, the shape, the straps. I can't be having to fight with the straps to get them on my shoulder. I can't be like struggling to get my arm in there. It, there there's some specific things that I was looking for, and I think that this bag... Um, <clears throat> fit the bill on all accounts. First of all, where did I purchase it? This is from J. Crew, And um, I like J. Crew. I think it's a very sophisticated brand. It's, you know, Americana sort of a brand. I like their pieces are classic. It does fit with my style, but they do generally kind of go more preppy than I am. But um, for some reason, I just, you know, I like to go in there and look anyway. I just like the look of the store. And I was blessed when I went in there. So, like I said, I've been looking for a while. I've been looking at higher end. I've been looking at lower end. I've been looking at Avon, of course. But just haven't seen anything that really, I think, would, would fit the bill for me. But then this baby, I saw it. And it was kind of like on a shelf, kind of to the back. And it was like my eyes went boom. 
And I snatched that this thing up and I was like, yes, this is it. So here is the bag. This is, I believe this would, I don't know if this is the front or the back, maybe the back, cause it's got the stitching from the inside pocket. This is the front. <clears throat> The inside of it I love because a lot of bucket bags do not have any sort of pockets on the inside. And if you if you watch my Stitch Fix videos, you'll know that I had also requested a black tote bag in my Stitch Fix and then I got this mint green bucket crossbody because they were out of black tote. So I'm not the only one in the world who loves a black tote apparently. So this one has um, that pocket, like I was saying, um, a lot of black totes do not have a pocket on the inside, it's just a big black hole. This is also a big black hole, but it, um, but it also has that pocket, so I can put my cell phone in there. And then I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna arrange the rest of my stuff, but you know, I'll have my wallet, <clears throat> and then I'll have um, you know, my cosmetic bag and things like that um, arranged in here accordingly, but I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna organize the inside, but rest assured, everything will be have its place and um, I'll be able to find things. The other thing I liked about this bag is that it, you know, I used to say, I want a bag with a zipper. It has to have a zipper. It needs to zip close. And what I found out is I never use the zipper. Uh, and so then it looks, you know, kind of like, would you zip your zipper up? So what I like about this one is it has a tie so I can make it close very tightly if needed so everything doesn't come falling out. But it also doesn't look terrible when I do what I normally do, which is nothing to it. And then it just has kind of the strings are just hanging, you know, or they can hang on the inside or, you know, I could just loosely tie them. So I was really pleased with that feature of the bag. Additionally, the shoulder straps are long enough so I can slip it over my shoulder, no problem. And um, the other, the last thing I really loved about this bag is you notice it has these snaps. <clears throat> the snaps, enable the bag to transform and I know there's a lot of bags nowadays that are doing that are, a lot of um, manufacturers are doing this kind of a thing where you can make it smaller as kind of a smaller um, tote bag so it kind of has a shopper I think that's what it's called like a shopper silhouette and then when you unsnap it it's the full tote that you guys I was like yes J crew you are doing it you know what a woman wants some versatility and so I was just like yes I, this is the bag for me I like that it's structured it will sit up um, very nicely on a counter it will it won't fall over and so I really feel like I got the best um, the best of all worlds, and not to mention that it's fully leather. And so the reason why that's important is because I've been shopping, like I said, and even bags that aren't leather have been running around $100 or more. And I'm like, it's not even real leather and they're still trying to charge? This guy is a real leather and this is the new Uptown tote bag, BK0001. And it was original, I don't know what the original price was, I'm guessing it was probably, I don't know, I won't even guess. But it had been marked down to $122.99, but yesterday there was a 40% off uh, sale going on, so I actually got this fully leather, very large tote bag for $73 and some odd cents. And I really felt like, um, for all intents and purposes, that was a really good deal on this bag. It's gonna, it's gonna wear really well. I can see the straps getting softer and more pliable, and I am just so happy. And the other thing I really like about it is, although it has these two little gold snaps, it's a very quiet bag. It doesn't have a lot of bling and bazoom to it, which I like on other people. I think it looks fabulous on other people when they're wearing those kinds of bags. But for me personally, I like a quiet bag. And if I want to bling it up a little bit, hang something on the straps to give it a little extra something on any particular day, I can do that. But as a very base foundational piece, I think it works really well. So that's all I have today. I just wanted to share my new bag and I hope you like this video. Please thumbs up if you wanna see more of these kinds of videos. I have done a little a bit of shopping over the past few months um, or the past month or so, just buying a pair of shoes here or there and just building my wardrobe piece by piece. And when I feel like I have 
maybe a theme or some sort, I will do um, another haul. But for now, I definitely wanted to show you guys this bag, especially if you're in the market for a black tote. And I think they also had it in like a hunter green. Um, so, or it maybe wouldn't be called hunter. It was a little bit brighter and more spring than hunter, more of a fresh, a fresh green. But if you're in the market for a tote, you might want to check out J. Crew if you really liked this one. Check them out online. I'll try to find a link and leave that in the subscription box. Or if I can't leave a link, I'll at least leave a, a complete description so you can go find it for yourself. And until next time, stay tuned, stay positive, stay on budget. Don't ever feel like you have are forced to purchase anything that's outside of your comfort zone or that you have to um, compromise on an item. Just keep looking and your persistence will pay off. So until next time, stay tuned, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.